as a young girl, do you have friends or know of people that have had to deal with this situation? Um, not seriously, but I think definitely, um, yeah, in my age group, people, people do feel self-conscious about how they look. Um, do they talk about their figures and things like when you're in a group? No. no. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's kind of more of a hidden thing? Yeah, I think so. So they think about it, but they don't actually verbalize it. Yeah. Now, can you tell by the way they dress if they're dealing with it in a different way, or is there anything um, that you notice at school? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes people people get really self-conscious about how they look, and I think that it's important to just be who you are and have the courage to just. Better girl. I think Julia yeah. made a really yes. good point there that it is really a very secretive thing. Yeah. You don't really know until it's too late. Yeah, yeah. that's what so I hear a lot, a lot of, of with this. It, yeah. And I've tried to incorporate that um, into the script as well, just to really show. It is very secretive. I mean, there's aspects in the film where Keely um, asks her mom to make her hot chocolate because she doesn't want her mom to realize that anything's going on. And then um, her mom makes her hot chocolate. She asks for extra whipped cream. And then the mom leaves and Keely takes it and dumps it out, leaves this much in the cup and then puts the cup back onto the table, the dining room table, so it looks like she drank it. So it's it's very secretive, just, I mean, I've I've seen it with friends from, you know, modeling and right. acting and from dancing and it it's definitely, you know, it's, it's Well, crazy. I'm glad you brought up modeling and I just want to quickly cover this because uh, with the Dove commercials and all the all those really great things that are coming out of this for body image and you've you've modeled for I have yes for Dove <laughs> for Dove yeah, yeah. I, actually I saw that um, I saw I saw a clip of that but this is a very very good thing that they're doing because it makes everybody realize that we're all different body types and we're all beautiful in our own way yeah. and we need to get that message out there a lot more so who is sponsoring you right now for this film Oh my goodness, um, we've had some incredible sponsors. We've got Soundstrike Studios, which is where we are today. Yes, and thank you Soundstrike Studios. <laughs> yes. Thanks for all your, <laughs> giving us all your time. And um, we've got North Shore Academy of Dancing, who's been on board the production since day one. Um, that's a dance school that I, um, I previously danced at. And we've got Rising Entertainment is on board, and Bruins Family Productions, which is my own family's production mm -hmm. company. Um, and then, you know, we've got, um, we've been getting quite a bit of publicity lately, which is really great. Uh, we're holding a silent auction on Sunday, June 5th yeah. at the Blarney Stone, which is in downtown Vancouver, and we've gotten so many donations for stuff. It's unbelievable. I mean, we have some incredible items. Um, so yeah, buy tickets. <laughs> I mean, that'd be great too. I was thinking um, that maybe high schools or elementary, maybe not so much elementary schools, but high schools, it would be good. Even if it's five, ten dollars here and there and, and you get a fundraiser going, uh, through your school, well, even you know social media and that kind of thing too. I was like, if every single friend of mine that I have on Facebook asks every single one of their exactly. friends for a dollar, the whole thing will be done. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know. I mean, we're looking for um, not for a huge amount of money. You know, we are a low budget film, so you know, a quarter of a million dollars in today's film industry is nothing. There's feature shooting for fifty million, so um, I mean, there's what two and a half million people in Vancouver, yes. something like that. And we need a quarter of a million, like a quarter of a million people will give us a buck each. It shouldn't be that bad, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. and, well, it's right. The concept it's is simple. It just. And you give back to so many charities yourself. You're involved in I a do. lot of charities. I and do. I think everybody yeah. here has got, is, is involved in that. But you're exceptional with this. I can't believe how many you. Yeah, I, um, I went through a pretty bad illness back in 2007. Um, I was in the hospital for a bit and um, I actually had a lung infection and that kind of thing. And. I noticed how many volunteers there were that did stuff like that and um, I actually work at a bank and it gives me a really good sort of um, starting point for that kind of thing. I can't, um, I coordinate all our um, community events and our volunteer campaigns and that kind of thing and all our charity stuff. How do you have time? <laughs> this is what I'm I saying. Don't she know. Is this I don't girl. know. I don't know. You are. How do you do that? You work full time. You, yeah. you've, or, you've wrote the script for this. You have like she's organized this whole thing that we're doing here and this is only part of what you're seeing like it's just amazing yeah it's um it's a tough job but i mean when you're doing something like this i really do it for the love of it i'm not doing it to make money in any way shape or form um so everything that i'm doing on the production obviously i'm volunteering my own time towards it it's you know it's my baby so um i'm not doing it at all to make money and i think if um if you have a passion for what you're doing mm -hmm. 
and you enjoy totally it that much, agree. it's easy to do. You yeah, know, it, it doesn't it's not seem a job. Like it's, it's not a challenge, no. exactly. And I think we've gotten so lucky with the amazing cast that we have because they all feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I know you have to go soon, so I just want to... You're in martial arts, aren't you? Yeah. And you play the violin. <laughs> Yeah. Like, are you taking after her with all you're doing here? <laughs> you two could be sisters, actually. Yeah. Same color and everything. Yeah. But, like, I mean, you're doing all these other things. Like, how, yeah. what made you choose a violin? Um, I really love the sound, and I, I don't know, I really thought it would be a great challenge, and really rewarding. It's definitely a really difficult instrument, but it's very rewarding once you get the right sound. Well, you know what I've noticed too? A lot of the violinists, violinists? Is that yeah. the word? <laughs> that you see now, before it used to be, you know, now you're seeing all these really different young women doing it. Before it, it wasn't, didn't seem to be sort of the attraction, mm -hmm. but now it seems to be everybody's going towards uh, the violin, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's there's, very... there's, there are a lot of people in my school who play the violin. Don't the Dixie Chicks play the violin? Um, yes. Sure. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yes. I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Jim, I keep calling you that. <laughs> Monty, Monty. What has drawn you into acting at this stage in your life? Because you didn't used to do this. No, is quite new for you, right? Yes, 2007. I'd never thought about acting in my entire life, and I just there was a an ad for a show called Iron Road. It was a CBC miniseries, and they just needed background, and I did it, and it just kind of evolved from there. I'm actually involved with the transport end of uh, the movie industry as well now too as a, as a job, as my income, so on all sides of it. So there Love you it. go everyone, it doesn't matter what age you are, if you have a passion, no, yeah, it's very true. just go for it. Because, <laughs> what's that? No, I was just saying who we're looking at, but yes, it's very true. <laughs> Never. It's me, the old soul. <laughs> Anybody can, and it's... It's a lot of fun, and I, there's a lot of work and dedication as well, but mm -hmm. you never meet a, a better group of people than in this industry. It's incredible. Uh, everyone's hard working. And yeah, it's, you know, it, it's like family, and that's yeah. why you've connected, and now you're doing another, and you have you two have done a commercial we together have. before. Yeah, we were in a CTV commercial. I played her mother, and next thing I know, we're I'm cast in this <laughs> film, and here she is again, and she's my daughter again, so yeah. Yeah. Well, you look call back. <laughs> And you've done some interesting films yourself. You've done quite a bit of, uh, of work. Do you want to tell yeah. us your, your most favorite project that you've done? Well, I, tonight they're screening a, a horror show that I've done, which is it's a, it's sort of a comedy horror, so there's lots of blood guts and my husband's an Elvis impersonator I mean totally crazy just a crazy <laughs> crazy show um, but um, my background I have a lot of theater in my background and I graduated from UBC in theater and um, that's my passion as well as, as film and I and I run the sound studio with my partner and uh, so life is busy and you're a writer and I'm a writer you I write for, for Knowledge radio? Network yes I yes, write for Knowledge Network that's fantastic. look at everybody yeah. here <laughs> Like, it's just amazing, and, and this is the thing that all these people are putting their time in for this film, and I think we really need to get this out there and get some great sponsors to come in and, and help fund this, because it is something that needs to be addressed, mm -hmm. and I personally would like to thank you for, for bringing this. I'm happy to be a part of this. Thank you so much. Very happy to be a part of this, and who, just in, in closing here, who would you like to see um, come in and, and do some sponsoring for this show? Let's put, some, <laughs> let's put up some Everyone. big names too. Um, well, you want me to put pressure on companies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. Um, no, but, um, you know, it's... How about the NHL? There's hockey yeah. on right now. Let's go to the NHL, the Canucks out there. Or even just, like, a donated jersey autographed by the team for us on yeah. auction. Huh? Um, but, um, seriously, like, anybody that watches this, if you, like, look into your pockets, how much change do you have in there? Donate it. I mean, it's it's a Starbucks coffee, right? I you can skip one, right, for the good of right. the teenagers in North America. Um, so you can actually check out our website. It's www.heartofdancemovie.com, and um, we have a sponsoring page and there's donations. And if you do have a little bit of extra money to spare, we have some pretty great um, donation packages, and you get you know autograph memorabilia from the film and tickets to the film premiere and. All kinds of stuff. So um, if you've got some money to spare, it would be really great. And it's you know it's a really great project, and I think it, it should go pretty far. And come on down to the silent auction on June fifth, which is this. June it's a Sunday. Sunday yeah, at six o'clock, right? Yeah, and you can buy tickets online at the same website. Um, and yeah, and who's going to be the entertainment? Robin and Riley Gillespie are actually going to be performing at our silent auction. And I, I believe you're actually interviewing them yes. um, in just You'll, a minute, yeah. so you guys will yeah. see them. They're an amazing um, two sisters that uh, sing and 
play the guitar and they're phenomenal. Yeah. So we're going to talk talk to them in a bit too. The, the amazing talent on this movie is is worth seeing the movie, funding the movie, coming in in any way you possibly can because it's it's really worth it. It's it's wonderful. Yeah. And thank you for writing it. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, she's incredible. This woman, isn't she? Thank you very much anyway, so. well, thanks everyone. We hope to hear from you and please contact the website www heartofdancemovie.com and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank Bye you everyone. So much, Susan. <laughs>